ever scoured the internet in search of a perfect new monitor, chances are that one of the first terms you've repeatedly encountered is HDR. It's been around for a while now and has made its way into the gaming world, but truly HDR-capable monitors have only become available to the average consumer relatively recently. So if you aren't sure what exactly it is that HDR does, and more importantly, how important it is for gaming, then buckle up, because we're about to answer all of these questions and more. Let's start with the basics. What is HDR? The abbreviation stands for High Dynamic Range and its goal is to make the displayed image appear as close to reality as possible. This is achieved by improving contrast, increasing brightness, and making the colors appear all the more lifelike. Sounds pretty good, right? But like most features that you'd find in a monitor, there are some hardware requirements to consider. So let's take a look at what exactly it is you'll need in order to use HDR in games. Unlike high resolution and high refresh rates, HDR actually doesn't demand a powerful GPU. In fact, it doesn't require much of anything, at least as far as the PC internals are concerned. Both HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.4 support HDR, so that's something to keep an eye out for when it comes to the ports and cables. As for the GPU itself, all NVIDIA GPUs from the GTX 950 and onward support HDR. And so do all the AMD GPUs from the Radeon R9 380 and onward, provided that you're using HDR-compatible ports. When it comes to the monitor, both IPS and VA panels can support HDR, but unfortunately TN panels cannot. Since TN panels are the fastest of the bunch, it means that you won't get to have your cake and eat it too, if you've been thinking about a 240Hz HDR monitor. But at the end of the day, if you value visuals over performance, chances are you wouldn't even consider a TN panel over an IPS or a VA one, as the latter two deliver color reproduction and contrast much better than what you would get with a TN monitor. Not to mention that 144Hz HDR monitors do exist, so that's a cake that you actually could have and eat it too, though it may be a bit pricey. On the software part, there is virtually nothing to worry about since Windows 10 natively supports HDR and so do all the versions of the PlayStation 4 and all the versions of Xbox One. On Windows, you just have to enable it on the display settings menu which you can access by right-clicking on a desktop. Of course, you need to have an HDR display connected for this option to appear, and it's the same deal with consoles as well. However, it's important to keep in mind that not every game supports HDR. To truly experience all the benefits of HDR, the game you're playing or the content you're watching must support it. And now we've come to the question that's probably occurred to most people when they first heard about HDR. Should you prioritize it or a higher resolution if you want? Obviously, both will greatly enhance in-game visuals in their own way. A higher resolution would bring a sense of depth to the image and the increased pixel density would reduce aliasing and make the image appear sharper. All the while, HDR, as already mentioned, would enhance the contrast and improve the lighting in order to make the scene appear more photorealistic. What makes the question of which one is better so difficult to answer, however, is the fact that these two shouldn't even be competing in the first place. Not only are they not mutually exclusive, but they often Sometimes actually go hand in hand. There are mid-range monitors out there that are HDR compatible now, so it's easy to find a QHD or 4K monitor that also comes with HDR support. So to answer the titular question, yes, HDR monitors are most certainly worth it. They're simply unrivaled in helping make the image appear as photorealistic as possible. And even though there aren't that many games that take full advantage of HDR yet, having this feature will make your monitor more future-proof, provided that you're already going for an IPS or a VA panel. On the other hand, due to there not being that many games that support it yet, investing more money than you usually would just for HDR probably wouldn't be a good idea. On top of that, as already mentioned, you won't be able to find a monitor that packs HDR together with a 240Hz refresh rate and a 1 millisecond response time since only TN panels can manage that kind of performance for now. And there you have it, the true value of an HDR monitor. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos like this one, just click on the bell icon and you can be the first to know when new videos get uploaded. Also, let us know if we've missed anything down in the comments. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few, and as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.